Hi guys, Nancy Trekker here, back for another adventure. Today I'm giving you a home tour of my Airbnb that I'll be living in in Cochabamba, Bolivia for the next five months. Let's go. When I flew into Jorge Wilstermann International Airport in Cochabamba, I was greeted by my Airbnb hosts, Romel and his mom, Jeanette. Romel proceeded to give me a tour while he drove me to the Airbnb located in the Cuero Cuero district of Cochabamba. Uh, the north region of the city, it's very safe, so you are not going to have any trouble. The north end is safe? Yes. Okay. The downtown also, it's, it's safe, but obviously some caution. The south, <laughs> you do not have to go to south of the city. That's a uh, Obviously, it's not uh, Cochabamba a very uh, dangerous city, but it's not advisable for me, no, to, okay. to go to that okay. part of the city. It's opposite in our, our city in Winnipeg. It's the north end that's very dangerous. Yes. And the south is all <laughs> the rich people live there. <laughs> yes, in La Paz also. <laughs> yeah, okay, La Paz as well. Um, but Cochabamba, the have, south, is dangerous. You have to be very ca cautious with uh, street food also. <laughs> with what? Street food? Yes, yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> Why? Because I have a lot of uh, friends that are from other countries. Okay. And some of them became sick with uh, street food. Not that uh, it's dangerous, but you know, your body is not used maybe to some of the things that are in other parts of, of the place you live, right? Yeah. So. However, I was eating street food all the time in Mexico. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but, but... I'll do it once in a while, maybe <laughs> not every night. Yes, maybe, maybe you travel a lot and, and obviously you have experience with that. That's right. But... Uh, for a few days, I believe, maybe it's not that advisable, but <laughs> okay. Okay, you are no, the no. expert here. <laughs> <laughs> if I get a tummy ache, it's my own fault, you warned me. <laughs> uh, awesome. So, and what about banks? Like, is it just, it's common in, in the, my neighborhood um, for banks and cajeros? Oh, yes. Um, it's, uh, there are uh, in, in your area there are a lot of things there are uh, uh, banks there are restaurants supermarkets it's a very friendly place for tourists okay yes there's not going to be a lot of trouble and also obviously uh, when you are here in town you can call us anytime and we will uh, assist in everything thank you no Thanks, problem Romel. with that. <laughs> Romel and his mom, Jeanette, yeah. picked me up from the airport. <laughs> this is my Airbnb host. <laughs> <laughs> First time in Bolivia, then. First time in Bolivia, yes. So you, you are going to be uh, traveling to our other uh, countries in South America, or just yes. Peru and Bolivia? Peru um, and Ecuador. Actually, I met someone in Ecuador yesterday in La Paz, oh. and um, or so she was from Ecuador. Pardon me. And um, she gave me her number and said she has many connections. She can get me on a lot of the tours. She can. She lives in Quito, oh. uh, Ecuador. Yes. And uh, she, yeah, she seemed very hospitable, and um, so she gave me her number so I can go. <laughs> That's and uh, nice. tour Ecuador. I know they they have agua termales there, hot springs. There's yeah. a there's a lake actually. There's uh, the Galapagos Island, and then there's a lake um, in a volcano. Wow! And there's an island on that lake that I want to go see. She showed me pictures, and it sounded amazing. Oh, that's, that's very beautiful. In La Paz, uh, there are some places that you must visit if you like uh, those those kind of things. I do. Uh, there are a place that's called Karanabi. Karanabi? Yes. And Does it start with a C or a K? It's jungle. It's, it's the thing that you're going to like. That's to, what I love. To to be to make trekking, those kind of things. Okay, perfect. It's a very adventurous place that you're going to love that. And La Paz is very strange because you have snow there. <laughs> there yes. There are mountains. Yes. You can do hiking there also. 
but uh, a few miles uh, there you oh he this is a park here in Cochabamba okay it's a very uh, famous park and you can see those those things uh, American Story, Silent oh. Hill uh, there's going to be a Halloween event here from the 19th of October to the 3 of November oh okay and this is one thing that I am orga organizing I am the organizer you are organizing this <laughs> yes so if you are in town I'm going to give you tickets you're going to come here that's a haunted house it's going oh, to be Ramon, <laughs> I didn't know but I'm on that bus tour over the Halloween oh but it's um, going to last for 14 days okay so when does that start you said October 14th October 19th October 19th until the 3rd of November I leave on the 24th so I will be able to go uh, yes. Ah, yes I love haunted houses and <laughs> she's going to help us we do every uh, Halloween season this event and it's very interesting if you love haunted houses right cool I really do yes <laughs> I have to <laughs> Especially since you're organizing it. Yes, it's, ah. it's going to be a big event. It's going to be very, very fun. Cool. <laughs> so thank you. You have tickets to that. <laughs> <laughs> and what is that park called? Uh, Parque Vial. Carpet Parque Vial. Uh, yes. Vial. V i a l e. Yes. Vial. Vial. Okay. That's a cinema. Uh, we are uh, close center? to the place you're going to stay. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a cinema if you want to watch movies. Maybe <laughs> uh, the only thing is that in this particular cinema uh, they don't pass uh, movies in English. <laughs> that's sad. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Only> in Spanish. <laughs> in some theaters there is? Uh, yes, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't expect it. Uh, I love to see movies in the original language. Yes. Market on that, the right, uh, you must go if you need. Uh, well, this is a big supermarket. If you need a lot of stuff, you can come here. Oh, hypermercados, I see Norte. Okay, that's the supermarket. Okay, this is Fidel and Ansel Park. It's a, it's a very popular park here in Cochabamba. It's <laughs> oh okay. Uh, a lot of football. Uh, a lot of things uh, in the surroundings also uh, cafes and those kind of things. And we are close to, to the park, uh, the place where you go, where you are going to stay. Okay. It's very close, so you can take a walk from here. <laughs> yes. It's going to be safe. This is a very safe place. Uh, don't worry about uh, anything in this place. Okay. The whole neighborhood. Yes. It's, nice. It's very safe. It looks very nice. Very
Okay. Hi guys, I'm in my new place in Cochabamba, Bolivia. I'm gonna give you a tour of my new place. Let's go. It's on the 11th floor. My is 11C. And as we know, 11 is a good number. I'm already moved in here, so all my belongings are already all put away. Uh, I'm a little bit excited. First look at the house. got nice big windows, open living room area to the kitchen, and adequate seating here. This couch is a pullout, I believe it is, maybe. It's supposed to be. I think it is. So I can have, uh, if family and friends come, I can pull out the couch. Oh yeah, that bottom's on wheels. I see it. So it'll pull out and all of the furniture, oh yeah, see, it pulls out. It's similar to my couch in Winnipeg, I believe, because that's an Ikea furniture, and all of this furniture is Ikea. I've got a nice little uh, coffee table. I plan on working at the kitchen table, I think, or at the kitchen counter so I can stand up, but for now I've just set my computer here. The host's mom, Jeanette, is a plant lover. So you see there's plants all over the place. It is pretty sweet. Like I said, I've moved my stuff in already. So those are my sunglasses and my cords. <laughs> um, they brought me an adapter here for plugs. So I can plug one thing in um, into this slot. It'll fit, it'll fit, uh, oh, I don't know where I put it. It'll fit my cube. Um, which is a two prong, but it won't it won't be suitable for a three prong because there's no ground on it. So I'm gonna have to get a different adapter. Um, the host Romel said that he would get one for me, and he's already on it. He he messaged me back. They just left about 20 minutes ago, and he already messaged me back that he found that uh, as well as a place where I can buy my fuel canisters for my little camp stove. Um, I've got a built-in clock on the wall. Isn't that cool? It is 5.20 Bolivian time. A nice little plant on the table. I love it that there's so much greenery in here. The kitchen, as I said, it's all Ikea. Wonderful use of spaces. So they've showed me this already. I've got plates, but then there's a little hidden drawer with all the forks, everything I need. Corkscrew, a lighter for the gas stove, all the utensils. And if I have, I can have six guests and I still won't run out of cutlery. <laughs> my tea towels, my plates. Under here, I've got just empty space, but I do have pots and pans here. So I might move them to that drawer. It makes more sense to me that they're in there. Um, and oh, so shiny, you can see my reflection. <laughs> um, microwave that I won't use. Oh, this is a, what is this? What is that screen for? So I see it's the fan. Oh, I guess it's just a, a shiny fan. I'm not sure what I just did. With the lights. There we go. Turn the lights off. There. I moved in my coffee press already. Um, got all my cups, some bowls in there. I brought maple syrup from Canada. I gave one to my host in um, La Paz, and I'm going to give one, I forgot about it, uh, to Romel and his mom, who I think is my new best friend. She is also a plant lover like me, so. Um, and she loves adventuring. Check out my view. Check out this view from my kitchen window. There's the statue of Christ over there on the hill. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it better. I can also see that from my bedroom. It is phenomenal. And Romel confirmed that that's a nice hike, although don't do that in the dark. 
just a little bit dangerous. Check this, I've got my own washing machine, which as soon as I find some laundry detergent, I'm going to do, make all my clothes fresh from the airplane and travel. It's just got a little um, smell to them. I've got uh, a drying area here, which is going to be awesome right by the window. That's where my broom and dustpan are. Ironing board, I'm never gonna use that. <laughs> How nice is this? I'm gonna show you the bathroom last because it's pretty sweet. My bedroom, my bedroom is awesome. Like I said, all Ikea furniture. I've got decoration on the wall. It is not shabby at all. This light, it's pretty fancy. I don't know if I can plug in my USBs here. I uh, asked the question, but I don't know the answer to that yet whether I can plug in my USB plug. And in Bolivia, they use 220 volts instead of the 110 or 140, whatever we use in Canada. It's different, different voltage. So I don't know if I can use my USBs in that plug. This is my view. There's no window screen. The window's open. This is my view. Don't drop my phone. This would be bad to drop my phone right now. Don't even think of it. <laughs> There's that beautiful statue over there on the hill or mountain, however you might call it. It's going to be one of my first hikes. Oh, that's a park right there. So that's um, the Fidel oh, something park. I'll put the name down below, but it's a very... Um, respected park in the city. It's very safe. My whole neighborhood is safe. I can walk at night around no problem. Um, what Romel said was uh, this area and anything north is very safe. But if I go farther south, so if I go past downtown and go south, and even in downtown there are areas that I need to um, just mind myself in and don't go to the south he told me the south cochabamba is a bit dangerous i would compare it to our north end of winnipeg so i don't really have a need to go there so i won't but look at these closets like i said i am all moved in there is all my baggage this is these are just extra bags and my camping supplies and yes i brought my tent and my sleeping pad and all my gear i just have to find those cylinders like i said my empty suitcase, and all my clothes are in the wash. So, oh, uh, censor that, my undies. <laughs> but there's, there's my clothes, and my shirts will go in here. And then I'm gonna put souvenirs. I've already brought, bought a couple souvenirs. Um, this is a flag of Bolivia keychain. <laughs> So they'll all go in these drawers. I have lots of space and um, this one's a little tricky. I have to open it up from underneath. Oh, it opens backwards. Okay, so that's space for hanging. So once I do my laundry, I'll have all my shirts to hang up, my jackets. And last but not least, oops, I'm covering the viewfinder with my hand. Last but le not least, let's go to the bathroom which is the first place that I visited when I got in, oddly. Uh, so in Bolivia, they do not flush the toilet paper. It all goes into the trash can. Um, I did learn, uh, however, that they do recycle. But look at this beautiful marble shower. Marble? Stone. It's tiled, anyway. It's tiled. Walk-in shower with the light. It is pretty sweet. I have soap of my own or shampoo, so I'm gonna use that. Nice shower head. Oh, I am going to be in heaven. This one detaches and wash all my parts. <laughs> I've got lots and lots of towels and bedding. Um, I didn't check behind the bathroom door. Nothing, nothing. So that's 
So that's the tour of my place here in Bolivia. Um, wait, there's one more thing I gotta show you. The 12th floor. So I'm on 11. Let's go up one floor. I'll show you what's there. The entire place has like a living wall theme. Um, this one has some repairs that it looks like it's they've been doing some some work on it, so it's not it's not all pretty, but the one in the lobby was gorgeous. So I've got a salon room. I think I am able to book if I need to. If I'm gonna have a lot of people over, we can hang out on the roof. I'm gonna take you this way. Look at this. Outdoor kitchen. Outdoor kitchen in Bolivia. Tell me this is not sweet. Uh, and they said I could have a barbecue. I just need to uh, request it at the front desk, which is manned 24 seven. So there's always a security guard uh, at the entrance to the building. This is my rooftop. This is my rooftop garden. Wow. I'm gonna take you this way now. Oh, imagine the sunsets here. I just got a glimmer off this oh, salon wall. That's all inside there is all living wall as well. I haven't been in that room. I don't know if you can see it for the glare, but that's all a living room. Or, sorry, that's all a living wall. The greenery here is just amazing. As you know, I'm a plant person. Hola, como estas? Bien, gracias. Bien. How sweet is this, you guys? The pool. And that that gentleman there is uh, shining it up, just doing some maintenance on it, cleaning it up, making it the really valuable space that it is. Can lounge here. Romel told me it gets really hot, so the pool is heated uh, during the weekend, but they shut the heat off to the pool on the weekdays, so it doesn't get so hot because the solar heat would heat it enough. I know in Arizona they don't even heat their pools at all, some of them, but here they do on the weekends. And there you can see the statue in the background. Pretty nice. You've even got a Buddha. We can put a tea light in there have some magic lighting and can you see um, all around the city I noticed at the airport first but Cochabamba is the city of uh, gardens and uh, with the temperature here it is possible to grow many many things I have to find out what these purple trees are the purple flowers I don't know what those are and they're everywhere here they're beautiful but I don't have any idea what they might be Obviously they love the heat and Bolivia would be, I don't know, uh, I don't know what zone Bolivia is. I'll find that out. So that concludes our tour. Tell me what you think. Tell me when you're coming over. Tell me, uh, ask me anything. Ask me questions. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, happy trekking.